Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan and Kaya, and welcome to another vlog. We're back. What are we doing today, babe? Today we are doing our first uh, mountain backpacking trip of the year. First backpacking trip <laughs> of the year. It's been an absolutely crazy last couple months. We haven't posted any videos at all because some things in our life have happened. What's happened? Uh, we bought our first house together. We bought a house. It's freaking awesome. It's been a ton of work and it's taken up pretty much 90% of our time. So we haven't been able to post a bunch of videos, but I have this weekend off and we're gonna go try to do some backpacking. Yep, we are going to a lake to go fishing. Uh, yep. Ryan's done a bunch of research. He thinks there's gonna be big fish. Ryan always thinks there's gonna be big fish. <laughs> so we got Gucci, we're up at the trailhead. We woke up super early this morning and yep. we are in the trail right now. We're going backpacking. Yep, we're gonna get the backpacks on. We're gonna head up. Let's go. It's gonna be awesome. Well, we're 30 feet into the hike and I'm already tired. That's good. <laughs> this is uh, gonna be about a five mile hike, I'm thinking. Maybe five and a half, one way. And I know it'll be five and a half back tomorrow, but we'll have to just see how it goes. Pretty excited to get up there. I don't know if you guys can see this here with Gooch walking in front of us, but pretty steep trail. <laughs> And I think it's like this the whole way. We're gaining like 2,700 feet in elevation, I think, within five miles. So it's a bit. It's a bit. <laughs> it is a bit. <laughs> We're about a third of the way there. This is a hard trail. It's, it's hard. not easy. It's not easy. It's very steep, but. We're doing great, it's beautiful out here. Um, thank goodness it's in the shade. We have lots of shade, so that's good. But uh, even the German Shepherd is <laughs> tired out, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. I think the whole fam, fam family is uh, a little bit worn out and out of shape, but. It's gonna take us a while. It's we've gonna take been, us a while to get there, but it's gonna be worth it. We've been going for an hour and 10 minutes and we've made it about a third of the way. Yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna be about a three, three and a half, four hour hike. So it's awesome. There's a nice little stream that runs by, which is cool. And it is really pretty, but it's hard work. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> there better be some 30 pound book trout in this lake. 30 pounders, how do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a 30 pounder. Maybe more like a seven inch book trout. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, an update. Wish us luck. <laughs> wish us luck. We're gonna continue on. What time is it? You got your phone? It is 10, 11. So we've been hiking for almost three hours now. Yep. It's like two minutes to you guys, but it's like hours to us. Something crazy just happened though. If you guys can see, I'm uh, not wearing a backpack anymore. <laughs> There's a family doing this trail right now with their horses, or horseback riding up it. This thing is steep. I don't know, Ryan's 10 feet away from me and four feet lower. I don't think a lot of people walk this. I think a lot of people probably horseback it, if anything. But yeah, they were just coming by with their horses and we passed them several times. We were kind of going back and forth with them. And he, I think, felt bad. <laughs> we were walking straight uphill with so much stuff and so he offered to take one of our packs. That was awesome. Shout out to the nice guy on the horse yes. that, took our, that took her backpack. If you ever see this, thank you. She was going to die. <laughs> yeah. They had a, what do you even call it, like a packing horse yeah. that they were just using to load stuff on. And so my backpack is with that horse now and they're going to drop it off at the lake for us, which makes it a lot easier for me. That's awesome. So Super nice. We're about halfway right now, we think. Maybe just a little bit over halfway and the view is gorgeous, but... We are high up here. You can see a Everything. long ways from here. And we came from the bottom of that canyon. That's where the trailhead is, the very bottom of that canyon. But it's going good. It's very, very tiring. But like I said, the backpack thing is gonna help a ton. Hopefully we're able to move faster. But that's the update for now. Yep, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the first lake. There are two lakes on this trail we're going to. We're gonna go to the second lake, but we made it to the first lake and we told the, the kind gentleman on the horse, just dump it off at the first lake on the trailhead. And uh, we weren't sure where it was gonna be or if it was gonna be easy to find. Yeah. We were kind of stressed, you know, like when someone takes your stuff. But uh, about three miles after, a couple <laughs> hours later. Walking up, it's That's so nice. sitting right here. Awesome. 
Yeah, so helpful, so nice of him to do that and help us out. If he ever sees this, thank you. Yes. <laughs> but there's our first lake in the distance behind the trees right there. And uh, <laughs> we're getting close to the finish line. Close. It's been a long hike, yeah. but we're getting close. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> we could just be really out of shape, but no, this we is made this it. is a freaking hard hike. I don't know. We made it though. Here's a little view of our lake. We got to get everything set up, but uh, we walked. I don't know. So the All Trails app says it's like four and a half miles. My little watch says that we've done like five and a half, so somewhere in between there. But we started hiking at 7.30. It's 12.30 right now, so five hours. We did stop at this smaller lake for a minute though. And Ryan fished a little bit. He caught two fish. But apparently this upper lake is supposed to have bigger fish. So we're gonna get camp set up and try that out. people we are fishing at the lower of the two lakes ryan's already fished both of them i took a nap with gooch but ryan's the worst vlogger ever and so he got no footage i tried you're gonna laugh at the footage i tried to get it was like hi kai is taking a nap um <laughs> i'm gonna try to catch a fish <laughs> okay what's up you guys so we i So, Whoa. this is a small one, but small one's better than no one, right? Look at how pretty these fish are. You guys won't even believe how pretty these are. Ew, it just splashed in my mouth. Look at that fish. Nice. Gooch likes it. <laughs> Very pretty orange spots. This is called a brook trout. Hopefully we can catch some bigger ones than that. But yep. First one on the board. Good job. These lakes are pretty small too. This is the smaller of the two, but I mean, it's not very big. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, hun. Thank you. All right, it's only been a second. Ryan got another one. Uh-oh, Gooch is gonna get it for you. You gotta talk loud, probably. Whoa. Number two. Ryan's using black and blue. I'm using red and black. We can see that he gave me the disadvantage. No. Yep. <laughs> fish number three for Cheater Man. Got another. Gooch, go see your dad's fish. That's Come here, Gooch. That was bigger, right? No? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Ryan did like four days worth of research and thought the fish here were huge. Well, I was hoping. There was a chance, but that's what it's all about. It's trying. Wind's picking up a little. But Ryan just got his fourth. Mm. Content, baby. <laughs> well, if I'm not gonna catch any fish, you guys can at least watch me cast out. There we go. There you go. <laughs> now the release. Kaboom. You got Gooch here, not loving the fishing. <laughs> BB, it's been a long day, a long hike. <laughs> That's some lazy fishing right <laughs> we're, now. We're fishing, folks. <laughs> that was a better one. Nice. A little bit deeper water. He was having me cast over towards the weeds. Dang. Show the people what they want to see. <laughs> nice. All right, Kaya's turn. Get this guy back in the water. There he goes. Well, Kaya's got her first fish. 
Oh, that's a much better fish, babe. Are they all just brook trout? Yeah. There you go. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Got it. <laughs> nice. A fish for me. There you go. Back in the water he goes. See you, buddy. Okay. That's awesome. Deeper water, maybe, then? Deeper water, yep. Yeah. They were up in the shallows, but I think we scared them out of the shallows. This is a fun way to catch them. This is a really fun way. I don't usually fly fish without a strike indicator very often, but up here they're just so aggressive, so you don't need the strike indicator. You can just throw it out there and then they just whack it. It's awesome. I've done that. Guys, Ryan's stoked right now. He caught like his first fish ever on a dry fly. <laughs> what kind of fly fisherman's never caught a fish on a dry fly before? No one ever taught him, so this is the first time. I had one dry fly in my box, and uh, so I threw it on because they're starting to jump a little bit, and sure enough, this one came up and took it. <laughs> we'll show them the fly in a second here. It's called a parachute Adams. I know what it's called. That's the fish, and that's the parachute Adams that's in its mouth. Perfect. We'll let this guy go Good back. Good job. Cross that off the list. Are you going to do some more? I'm going to try again. Okay. That's not easy. Not easy. <laughs> you got it. That? <laughs> Did you see it? Barely. Did you see him come up? I would never be able to catch that fish. Never. <laughs> never. Dry flies are not easy. <laughs> My reaction time is like negative. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Look at how beautiful that fish is. Nice. There he goes. <laughs> Quick. Wow. That is so much fun. As soon as, you, as it hit the water, huh? Just came up and just... <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I guess Ryan's a dry fly fisherman now. That's a pretty fish too. Let's get the hook out of its mouth. Right in the corner of its mouth, perfect. Nice. Beautiful. That's a nice little stripe, huh? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at that. That's like an actually a pretty fish. Kai doesn't think fish are pretty, but if you don't think this fish is pretty, then you're out of your mind. I think the fins are pretty. <laughs> okay, right back in the water. There it goes. Let's try that one more time. Kachuga. Kachuga. <laughs> All right, we're up at the lake that we're camping at now. We're up at the bigger lake where there's a little bit bigger of a fish, and I got my first bite, and sure enough, it's a little bit better of a fish. Oh, not, really not way bigger, enough. but it's bigger. It's a lot bigger. Than that. Oh yeah, that's way bigger actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See how much bigger that is? Yeah. See how dark it is? Yeah. That's that's an older fish. I bet that's four, five years old. All I'll right. let this guy go. Good yeah. job. They're a lot bigger in here. <laughs> a little bit few and far between, but much nicer fish. Yeah. So now let's get you one. Ty is hooked up. I've been struggling today, but I got one right now. She's got one. Black and blue. I've had the black and red all day long, so I wonder if just that's what the difference is. Oh, that's a nice fish too, oh. babe. That's a really nice fish. Don't fall over. Oh, it popped off. Oh. Right here, it just popped off. Well, I think that still counts. We're Good counting job. it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're having a rough one today. This is our third take at our outro. Basically, it's nine o'clock at night. It's still bright outside, but we're hiding in our tent for the rest of the night. The mosquitoes where we're camping are crazy. There's a billion bugs outside right now and we're hiding from them in our tent. <laughs> That's what it's come to. <laughs> um, also, we forgot bug spray, which sucks because awesome. even during the daytime, insane. Also. You guys probably all knew this because the normal person knows this, but did you know that there's a fire ban going on in 99% of the state? Oh yeah, we couldn't have a fire out here, so. Most of the food that we brought was all stuff that would have had to be cooked. So once we pulled up, we saw all the signs, we ditched all of our cold food at the car, um, and. Decided to make this hike with two granola bars. It's been awesome. 16% grade, five miles, took us five and a half hours. My shoulders felt like they were gonna fall off when I got here. But all of these negatives, in the end, it was awesome because we got to go fishing. 
we caught some really nice fish. The brookies out here are absolutely beautiful. The views are beautiful. I mean, I had two days off of work. When do you get that? And we got to make a video. So, a couple of negatives, but overall. Yeah, I'm we really made the best of it, it, which has been really nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think you guys got to see the camp. We didn't really make a camp. It's just literally our tent. Seriously, we're moving as fast as we can when we're outside because the bugs are gnarly. We didn't have the opportunity to make a fire pit. It's just yeah. our tent sitting in the middle of the forest. It's been kind of a mess, like we said, but yeah. we've made the best out of it, and we're happy we got to come out, make a video, do yeah. a little backpacking it's been fun. trip. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did because we enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do, do all that. Every one of those things, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. See you guys next time.